Hello, everybody, and welcome to the RBTV TV Game of the Week. I'm Sam Megan, alongside Greg Bosworth. Tonight, the Bulldogs take on the USL Media. Greg, what are your opinions on tonight's game? It's going to be a good game. Those teams are hot. It's going to come down to who wants them more. Yeah, I agree. Bulldogs are on a 13-game winning streak, and they're hoping to continue that tonight. As starting lineups are being introduced. Gila Sal, who has won five out of the last six. Bulldogs, like I said, 13 game winning streak. They're also undefeated at home, 9 0. So they're just hoping to continue it tonight. Here we go on senior night. The Bulldogs are going to introduce. Got a pretty packed crowd here tonight. And a four of the five one junior number twenty-four, Abigail Yeager. And then a four of the five nine senior number thirty-three, Sarah John Baptiste. The four of the five right now is still assisted by Mark Rudy. Here we go, we're just about to get tip off going. Jaeger taking the tip, the tip for the Bulldogs. Kostic for the Meteors. And the tip. And it is won by the Bulldogs. Loftus gets it. Loftus looking down court. Joan Baptiste. Looking to Hines. Hines back to Loftus. Back to Hines. Hines driving in to Joan Baptiste for three. Air ball. Bulldogs get the offensive rebound. Offensive rebound by Jaeger. Loftus has it driving in. She has it stripped, but regains possession. To Joan Baptiste, she gets blocked, but it is a foul call. Foul called on Howard. That is her first of the game. Joan Baptiste, shooting two. Number 33, Sarah Joan Baptiste, shooting two. Joe getting her form ready. Let's shoot her up. And it is good. One nothing we can win. The bench went nuts for that one. And that's her 1,000th career point. Congratulations to her one accomplishment for the Bulldogs. And there is a special ceremony going on for her 1,000th point. Coach has a ceremonial ball. What an achievement for Joan Baptiste. Congratulations to her. Standing ovation from the crowd. Well deserved. Comes her second free throw. No good. She gets her own rebound though. Shot, no good. Passes off to Loftus. And she travels. 1,000 career points for Joan Baptiste. What an achievement. She's been one of the key players for the Bulldogs the last few years. They're going to really miss her. Oh, definitely. They're definitely going to miss her. Huge achievement though. Congratulations to her. Howard's got it. Back to Brooks. To Howard. To William. Driving in. Howard. Howard for two. Good. It's number 23. Hines has it. To Leon. Off the shot. Fader, no good. Good board by the, by the Meteors. Costa got the board there. Howard's got it. Howard seems to be one of the better players. And it is stolen by the Bulldogs. Tipped by Jaeger, taken by Loftus. Hines has it, looking down low. Down low, bucket is good. Jaeger with the bucket there, makes it three to two Bulldogs. Now we're dribbling it around. Looking at Brooks, to Howard, to William, to Brooks. 
to William for three, no good. Rebound by the Bulldogs. Rebound by, was by Natalie Leon. Tipped around, and it went out of bounds. Out of bounds, Bulldogs. Out of bounds on the Meteor. Bulls ball, or Bulldogs ball. Both teams have been playing very well so far. Yeah, playing very physical. Not a lot of shots have been falling, but I'm sure they will. Just gotta get warm. Couldn't get the inbound going there. Hines has it though. Hines looking around, dribbling. Trying to beat the zone here. Two, two, three zone. Yeah, they're doing a good job of it so far. Good dribble move. Hines, Joe Baptiste, Joe Baptiste for three. No good. And the Meteors get the rebound after a good fight for it. Brooks has it, looked like she's gonna go for the fast break, and then she just slows it down. Howard there, back to William. Almost stolen there. Brooks for three, bang! Number three, Deanna Brooks for three. That's now five to three, Meteors. The move driving it all the way down. That was a great look right there. Down the floor and just scoring. Howard has it. To Brooks for three. Air ball. Not a good look at shot. Another air ball on the putback. Now the Bulldogs have the ball. Hines has it. Joan Baptiste. Joan Baptiste in the corner. No good. A lot of air balls early. Yeah. Both but teams need to pick it up. Definitely, and another air ball on the layup. Dawson has not been looking good so far, and it's stolen by Brooks. Brooks has it, driving in, and she misses the layup. It wasn't even that close. Leon to Joan Baptiste. Joan Baptiste loses control, regains it. Hines driving in, gets blocked, but it is a foul. Two shots coming up for Hines. Yep, foul with um, Kusick. Team second foul. First by Kusick though. Hines. First free throw. It is in and out. Gotta make your free throws. Sometimes it's out of your control. That one went in and out. Good look, just didn't fall. Second free throw from Hines. And it's good. Bulldogs take the lead. Ref called the foul. Yes, he was foul called. It's on number three, Brooks, her first. Deanna Brooks got the foul there. I don't know, maybe a legal move on the rebound there. Either way, Bulldogs get the ball after the made free throw. Joe Baptiste to Loftus. Loftus, who usually steps up, has not really done anything. Loftus, what a move. Gives the Bulldogs a three-point lead. Looking a little bit like Kobe Bryant out there. William. And Howard, back to William. To Brooks. Brooks gets fouled. And she'll be shooting two. Fouls on first. On number 20, Leon, her first. And now Leon, Leon. First foul. First free throw. No good. Gotta make your free throws. Deanna Brooks misses her first. If D. LaSalle's trying to get the upset here, you gotta make your free throws, and they have not so far. There's a lot of easy looks. Brooks with her second. In and out again. Nothing is falling for them. There's 0 for 2 at the line right there. Hines, and it's almost stolen, but she regains possession. Nice move. Hines driving in. Sloppy pass, and it'll go to D. LaSalle. Most teams need to be playing better basketball. Yeah, this has been sloppy, sloppy basketball so far. Brooks has it to William, to Howard. Dribbling around, Brooks to William, to Brooks. Brooks looking to William. To Kusick, to Brooks. Dawson for three. No good. Oh, 
Challenge inbound. Looks like De La Salle's bringing a little full court press. Loftus gets the ball. No one on her. She's just gonna drive it. Looks like she's gonna go all the way. Goes up with it. No good. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. Bang. What a move there. Five, five point board all lead here. Yep. Gotta follow your shot and she did a great job there. Pass. William has it. Looking for her options. Gets Dawson to William. To Brooks. They're just passing it around. The three from William, it is good. Naya William makes it 10 to eight, two point ball game. Joan Baptiste for three. Wasn't the best shot in the world, but they get the offensive rebound. Leon has it to Hines. Hines trying to go up and she gets blocked by Howard. She said, no, 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 get that out of my house. Leon looking to pass it in. Running on the stack to Loftus. Loftus trying to drive in. Drives in, gets blocked again. Block was by Kusick. Passing it again. Joan Baptiste for three. No good. But they get the rebound. William gets the rebound. Trying to drive down court. Looking for options, has Howard. Howard driving in with the pass, it's tipped. But William regains possession. Dawson to Brooks for three. In and out, no good. Bulldogs get the rebound. Another rebound by Leon to Loftus. Loftus, nice move, no good. Meteors driving it up the court. A little fast pace action, but nothing's going down. Howard for three, no good. Meteors need to start looking down low more. Yes, they do. Their shots aren't falling. Loftus is good. Meteors are trying to look up and trying to get a three here, and the three point shooters are not hitting shots. 12 8 Bulldogs. And here we go. They're, looks like they're trying to find and get it down low. And it is stolen. Leon with the steal. Leon's having a great game so far on the defensive end. Hines has it, dribbling around looking. Joan Baptiste for three. Yes! Bang! Sarah Joan Baptiste. And that is a timeout by De La Salle. They just need to regroup. Bulldogs are on a huge run. Meteor. Meteor. And looks like we're gonna get a replay on that three by Joan Baptiste. What a good looking shot. Just they just took it up court. And no, this is not the Joan Baptiste uh, three. This is the <laughs> this is a Loftus layup. Nice looking play though. What have, uh, what have you seen so far from both teams that uh, you think they can improve on and what they've done well so far? Both teams need to improve on their shooting. I think Bulldogs are getting their shots to fall more. The Meteors need to start playing better defense, look down low more. Yeah, they definitely got to look down low more. Looks like they're getting open, but they're just not passing it on. Here we go. Passing. Howard has it. Dribbling it up court. Seven point lead. Got to get something going. Looks like it's the same group of girls. Yep. Looks like no subs made. Just had to regroup. Howard has it. To William for three. Bang. Said they needed their shots to fall, and it did. Four point lead. Hines has it. They need to take smart shots, not force anything. Not force anything. That looked like a good shot. No good. That looked like a forced shot. What we said not to do. And the just get the ball because of it. It's tipped out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Get the, the Meteors ball. You go. Looks like our first sub of the game for the Bulldogs. Shannon Malloy checking into the game. Natalie Leone checking out. 47 seconds left in the first quarter and De La Salle with a little late sub. Naya William coming out and number 20, Ariana Cloito is checking in. Howard dribbling it around, looks to Brooks. Pass around, Howard's got it back, top of the key. Howard dribbling it in, gets a, a shot from three, good! 
Newey checked in Cloito. She just checked in the game and she hits a three. What a way to come out. One point game now. Yeah, that timeout seemed to really work because now De La Salle's on a 6 0 run. Loft is driving in. Nice move, just could not fall. Loftus gets her a rebound, and it's good. As the quarter winds down, this will probably be the last possession here. 10 seconds, three point Bulldog lead. Looking around, just passing it. Howard has it. Five seconds. Gotta get a shot off here. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Two seconds, one second, and that's the end of the quarter. Shot will not count even if it goes, and that's no good, but it wouldn't count it anyway. And that's the end of the quarter. Your score, Bulldog 17, USL 14. USL really seemed to pick it up there at the end of the quarter. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's what they needed. They need to come out hot in the second quarter if they want a chance to win this game. Yeah, they just need to keep going with the and they currently have. And the Bulldogs, they just, I don't know, they just can't allow the three. They've been really letting them shoot the three all night. It really hasn't fallen. After the timeout, they seem to regroup and get their shots going. The three's going to kill them if they don't stop it. Yeah, for sure. De La Salle really hasn't gone down low all game. They continue to not have gone down low, and it seems like that space has been opened up as well. They need to try to go down low, low, down low more. They've been getting a lot of better quality rebounds. All right, and yeah, we looks like we're gonna get a replay of Brenda's putback. Bulldogs, they've been missing a lot of layups. That was one of their nice layups, but they just gotta continue to make their layups. So you look at. She misses the layup, Bulldogs get the rebound, and she puts it back up, bang. That was a good way to end the quarter. Sliding through contact there. Might have been a foul, no call. And De La Salle will get the ball to start the quarter. William has it, passing it in. Passing it in to Howard. And three point game. And dribbling around, it's tipped around. Bulldogs try to get the steal, and they do. Hines gets the steal. Passing it up to Loftus. Loftus, yes! Yeah. It's a five point lead. Brennan Loftus dropping a quiet 10 right now. Howard has it to William. Back to Howard. They're really not looking down low. Passing it around to William, to Howard. Claudio, pass down low, back to Claudio, to William. Look, they're trying to force up a three here, to Claudio. Dawson to Howard. Howard just dribbling it around to William. Passing it around to Claudio for three. No good, looks like a forced up shot, no good. Good rebound there by Malloy. Dribbling around, passing it. Shot, it is good. Yeager with the shot. And she has six so far. Seven point lead by the Bulldogs. Way to turn it around after a one point lead just coming out of the quarter. Meteors need to do something here. Yeah, they gotta get points and just not chuck up another three. Howard has it. Takes up the deep two, no good. But they're fighting for the rebound. Looks like it's gonna be a jump ball. Jump ball, Bulldogs ball on the arrow. Bulldogs will take it up here, 6.48 left in the second quarter. Brooks comes back in. And Dawson checks out of the game. Hines has it. Hines looking around. Has Jaeger. Around Joan Baptiste. Joan Baptiste driving in. She loses control, but to pick up possession by Malloy. Hines has it. She's just dribbling, dribbling. Loftus, Loftus driving in. She puts up the shot, wild shot, no good. But she fights her own rebound but cannot get it. It'll go out of bounds and it'll go to the Meteors. Bulldogs are attacking inside way more than Meteors are. Yeah, they just, their shots aren't falling. Maybe they can see something that opens up maybe mid-ranger for three because it really hasn't been working that much. Bulldogs Trapped here at middle. half court. Howard driving in. Good looking shot, no good. Jaeger has it to Hines. Looks like they're gonna try and get a fast break going, but they did not. Loftus has it. Loftus putting up the nice shot, good. She has been so huge for them all season and the reason they've been winning a lot of their games.
William has it. It's tipped. It is stolen by Loftus. Loftus driving in. Good and the foul. What a move. She gets the and one there. Hoping to nail the free throw. 14 points. Pretty solid if you ask me. Considering it's only the second quarter and it just started. Loftus with the rhythm. And the free throw is good. She definitely has the caliber of becoming a D1 player. Brooks has it. Brooks is trapped, but she somehow gets the pass off to Howard. The layup, no good. Kostic with the rebound. Joan Baptiste has it. Joan Baptiste to Hines. Back to Joan Baptiste. Joan Baptiste driving in. Nice spin move, and it's good. Sarah, Sarah Joan Baptiste with a nice bucket. Bulldogs with a 14 point lead. Six points in her 1,000 career point game. Driving in. There's a foul on the play. Foul on the Bulldogs. And we got a replay of the end one by Loftus. Brooks has it to Howard. Trying to get one more pass, cannot get it. William passes around, looking to Brooks. Going around Howard, going up for the layup, no good. And they're fine for the ball, slipped around. And it's stolen by De La Salle. It's a foul on the Bulldogs. Foul on the ground, really can't be doing that. Just on force errors. Foul on Baptiste. It's your first. It's an inbound violation on the Meteors and that'll be the Bulldogs ball. Take your foot, might have crossed the line there. Can't have mistakes like that. I'm sure Zach had a good look at that one on his camera. Jump pad to Chief, to Hines. Hines dribbling around. Hines, nice fake to Loftus. Loftus down low. It is good, nice move. 17 out of the Bulldogs 30. She has more points than De La Salle so far. What a game. Driving in, and she traveled. Brooks with the travel. Remember when it was a one point game? Yeah. Now it's a 16 point game. What a first, or second quarter by the Bulldogs. Pass to Joe Baptiste. Nice spin. Meteors has been driving in. Nice move by Malloy. Just can't get it to fall. Meteors with the rebound. Gonzalez has it to uh, William, to Howard, to Brooks. Brooks for three, it's just a forced shot that does not fall. Usyk has the ball, and it's a jump ball. USL will get the ball on the arrow. And here's, here's Loftus' layup here on the replay. As e inbound, almost stolen by Loftus. William has it. Looking around. Meteors have been ice Howard. cold. Looking for something to get the momentum going. And they are still ice cold. Cannot have anything falling. Loftus on the fast break gets it. No good. Howard has it. Howard driving in. No good. Nothing's falling. Loftus gets it. She's got the fast break. She's going in. Pump fakes. What a move. Layup is good. 19 for Loftus. Crowd's loving it. Here we go. Dribbling around. Gonzalez has it to William. To Brooks. To William. Gonzalez. To Howard. Cusick. Cusick. To William. William for three to break the streak. Oh my gosh, that. Are you kidding me? The ball is stuck on the rim. That is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's see, who's gonna jump up and get the ball? Let's go coach, let's go coach, get it. Yeah, yeah, what a play by the coach and the crowd loves it. 
<laughs> Coach, <laughs> Coach Rudy loved that as well. Gave him a high five on the side, like, good play. It'll be Boatlog's ball after one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Hines has it. <laughs> that was so funny. Pressed by the Meteors. It's a foul. It's a foul on Howard, and she does not like the call at all. Now it's hard to like a call when you're down 18. 231 left in the quarter, or in the quarter, and I'm sure the Meteors just want to get out of this quarter and just regroup. We need to talk it over, come into the second half with a new game plan. Hines has it to Joan Baptiste for three, no good. Tip the round. Oh, that might have been a questionable call. It looked like she touched it out of bounds. It looked like Brooks touched it out of bounds. But however, it'll be Meteor's ball. Hope we had a good camera angle of that. Maybe look at that. Loft just tips it, and we'll save with the Meteors. Moy coming out, and Leon coming in. Crowd seems to be pretty happy about Leon checking into the game. You know, it's senior night, and just want the seniors to get as much minutes as possible. Though Leon hasn't scored any points so far, she's made a big contribution on defense. Yeah, you just want to get points in your senior night, at least two. Loftus with the steal. Loftus gets it tipped. Good play by Dawson on defense, but it'll stay with the Bulldogs. Two minutes left in the half. Leon has it, just taking it slow, looking. Pass, Joan Baptiste, Joe Baptiste to Leon, Leon. Hines to Joe Baptiste, Joe Baptiste for three, no good. As the Meteors get the rebound, almost lose control, but regain it. Brooks has it. You want to you want to score before half. You've been on a cold streak almost this whole quarter. You need some momentum going in the half. Anything, a layup, a free throw, literally anything to just get the streak broken. William has it. Be patient, wait for your shot. The shot, another fourth shot by Gonzalez, no good. Gonzalez gets her own rebound. And William has it. It looks like they don't even want to try a post game. Oh no, they don't at all. They put up a mid range and it falls. Dawson gets it to fall. They just needed that so bad. Leon has it, Joan Baptiste. To Leon. Leon tries a three of her own. No good. Dawson has it driving in. She stops. Almost gets it stolen by Joe Baptiste. She's just taking it slow. Has it to Howard. To William. To Howard. And it's tipped. It's stolen by Loftus. Loftus drives it down and it almost comes to us. Luckily, the kid in the front row stopped us from getting hit. Loftus checking it in to Hines. Hines dribbling it around. Hines driving in. It's tipped and it's stolen. But Loftus regains possession to Joan Baptiste. Joan Baptiste for three. No good. It is rebounded by Loftus. Loftus goes up. Might have gotten fouled. No call, however. Might hold for the last shot here. No, it's tipped and it's on the ground. Jump ball. Jump ball. It'll be De La Salle's ball on the arrow. Seven seconds left. If you want to draw up something, just get a bucket here before the end of the half. 32-16, just looking for anything. Yeah, you need something here. And like I said, just try, try and draw up something. Timeout by De La Salle. 30-second timeout. And so what are your, some of your takeaways from this half, what went wrong for De La Salle? I th think that they stopped playing aggressive defense second quarter. They, they were more laid back, which led the Bulldogs to get better shots. And I think the Bulldogs got more, f stayed physical on defense, which I don't think they adjusted for on offense. Plus, uh, plus Brenna went off. They had 15, she had 15 points, I believe, mm -hmm. to, in that second quarter alone. Th that's, that's hard to do. Mm -hmm. She's a key reason that the Bulldogs have the lead that they do. She's a key reason they are 24-3 and three on the season. 
Trying to draw something up. And they can't get anything going. Almost a five second violation sipped around. William, after drawing something up, that's the best you could do. Howard over in the corner to Dawson for three. Bang! Maybe that did work. And that's the end of the half. 32-19. Just needed that so bad. 32-19 to end the half. 13 point Bulldog lead. Your opinions on this half? Um. Here's a replay of the three. Just found Dawson wide open in the corner. Bang! That's how you end the half. That's what they really needed to go into the half with some momentum. See how they adjust. I agree. I think the way they struggled this entire half, they just needed to get something going. Stay tuned for more Bulldog basketball at, after this halftime. Welcome back to the RBTV Game of the Week. I'm Sam Ingle alongside Greg Boswell. Greg, your opinions on the game so far and what's gonna, what your predictions are for the rest of the game. Um, Bulldogs um, have a demanding lead. Um, they just need to keep the pace going. Um, you know. <laughs> DSL needs to come out strong, try to eliminate this this big lead. And if the Meteors come out strong, stop the Bulldogs, this could be an interesting second half. I agree. Joe Baptiste has it to Loftus. Loftus goes up, no foul. Jump ball on the play. It'll be Meteors ball on the possession arrow. Brooks passes it in to Howard. Howard taking it up up court. To William, William for three, no good. They get the offensive rebound, and it's a traveling. Dawson got the travel call there. And here we go, Joe Baptiste about to pass it in to Hines. And taking up court dribbling, bringing a little full court press. Loftus has a two on one. And it's good. Right she was looking for a charge there, but she was in the restricted zone, so no charge. Bucket is good. 21 for Loftus. 34-19 Bulldogs. Looking for something. They're not getting it down low at all. No one's even in the paint for the Meteors. As Brooks has it. Brooks to William. William looking to back to Brooks. Number 12 is almost down there as a decoy. Not really, <laughs> not really doing anything. No, not doing anything at all. They're not getting it to her. Not really her fault. Hines has it. Looking around. Joan Baptiste. Back to Hines. Hines. Driving in. Takes it back. Joan, ba Joan Baptiste has it. To Leon. Leon passes it up. Hines for three. In and out. No good. Number five is the rebound. Yeah, William with the rebound there. Back. William has it up. Dawson has it. Back to William. Doing some good cross-court passing. To so, Howard. So far, they're, they're, they've been more patient. They yeah, lost this with but. the steal. Going up. Yes, wow. sir. 23 points from Loftus. What a game from her. As Leon falls on defense, leaving the open shot, and it's good from Howard. It's only a two, however. It's 36-21. Leon has it. The play looking around. She's kind of trapped. Loftus gets it, however. Loftus going up, no good. A rare miss from her. And they lose possession of it, just butterfingers. And it'll be Bulls ball, or Bulldogs ball. And we have a replay of Loftus's layup. Again, in the restricted zone, so no foul. Around. Hines has it. Joe Baptiste. Joe Baptiste looking around. Is it and it's a steal by Dawson. Dawson not even going to look for the two. Easy layup. Gets it to William for three. No good. They're just chucking up threes, and this strategy is not working. Brooks has it, finally driving in, trying to get a layup, and it's no good as well. Yeager gets the rebound. On the fast break there, they had Howard wide open. They didn't even look at her. No, but Joan Baptiste gets it no good. Rebound. Oh, Brenna Loftus, who else gets the putback? 25 points for her. I don't think there's much more you could say. D1 recruits, where are you, where are you at? 
she drops 25 seemingly every night. Brooks has it. Dawson to William. William, another three. That one falls, however. 38-24. That was a good look by her. She's been chucking up so many threes. Finally, one fell. Loftus has it. Looking around to Leo. To Joan Baptiste for three. No. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll be Bulldog's ball. And here we go. We got a replay of the fast break by Joan Baptiste which was a miss and Loftus put back. I don't know where the ball went. The ball disappeared like the ball and it. Looking around, finally gets it to Loftus. Loftus the shot, mid-range, no good. Sipped around, good board. Leon has it. Joan Baptiste, Joan Baptiste for three. No good. Ooh. She gets trucked. Hit stick looking like the Super Bowl last night, and she looks a little bit shaken up. Dawson was shaken up. Meteor on the play, and she got drilled. This isn't football. And we have a replay to hit. Let's get. Let's take a look at this replay. Didn't quite get the replay out. Here we go, Howard. Around, Sissick. Two. To Brooks, to William, William for three. Another one, no good. How many threes has she put up tonight? That is a lot. Seems like their game revolves around the three-pointer. When it's not working, they don't change it up. Yeah, they got to change something up. Thought they'd maybe change that up at halftime. They did not. Good find down low to Loftus. Loftus goes up, no foul, no bucket either. Rebound by Loftus. Wow, look at those hustle plays. And it's no good. Loftus is a different kind of talent. Hustling for rebounds, getting so many points. Definitely would be a good factor on a college team as well. Dawson gets fouled by Joan Baptiste. It's her second of the game. I mean, there's five, so don't really need to sweat it too much. Just trying to avoid the foul. Brooks taking the inbound. Mm -hmm. Got William with it. William looking around. Good defense by Joan Baptiste. Almost loses control there. The Brooks. Wanted to take that shot. Wanted to, did not. Dawson has it. Brooks, Dawson, Dawson. Open three. No, no. good. She felt the pressure of the Bulldog defense. Hines has it. What a pass to Loftus. And they're going up Dawson. I think that's her first layup of the game, and what a move. That was a thing of beauty right there. Timeout by De La Salle. That's the third timeout. They got two left. It's 40 to 26, your current score. And here we go. We got a replay coming up. This timeout. It's been a little back and forth, more scoring. You had that beautiful pass from Hines. Look at that find to Loftus. What a play. <laughs> Definitely trying to just keep the points going, keep the pressure going. Bulldogs have been scoring a lot, but it seems like the Meteors have been responding back now. 14-point game. Want to keep the pressure on, don't want to let out, let up. Yep, just because you got a, a big lead doesn't mean not make it bigger. It's not over till it's over. Senior night 2020. What a moment for Sarah Joan Baptiste, beginning of the game on her senior night, getting her 1,000th career point. She was one away and she got it. That was, that was a great moment for everyone here to witness that. Yeah, truly a great moment. Glad I was here to witness it. There you go, Loftus checking it in. Full court pass from the Meteors. Hines has it. Hines splits the defense, but it gets stolen. Has it, it's tipped. And she just, that's a backcourt. 
That's great defense by the Bulldogs there. Making sure they did not get the pass off. General Pep, T's taking the ball. Good pass to Hines. And she tries to blend the defense, cannot get there. It's stolen by the Meteors. They're driving down court. Going for the bucket. Nice move by Dawson. Hoff just tried getting there to block it, but she couldn't. Hines has it now. More full for Pat Cross. 12 point game. Hines has it now. Trying to get across that court, they finally do. Loftus has it. And she gets drilled by Howard. What another big hit. She fell to the ground, but she seems to be okay. William checking out of the game. Claudio checking in. Claudio at exactly five foot. That seems to be the short one out there. That's not stopping her. Hines with the move, no good. Brooks has it. Two on three here. Driving it finally. She gets the fuck. And it's a, no, that's a, that's a traveling. Seems like when they have an opportunity, they wasted it with the offensive foul. Yeah, it looked like a good play. It looks like they were gonna get the foul there, but didn't. Hines driving in. Hines with spin move, no good. Dawson with the move. Looks like she might have got fouled, no foul called. Joan Baptiste with the rebound. Hines has it. Leon to Loftus. Loftus putting it up, and it is good. 29 on the night. Howard has it. She scored more than the other team. It's crazy. Crazy whenever someone does it. Almost steals again. Howard has it. Tries pulling it up. No good. Brooks has it. Dawson. It is good. That's, that's what they need to start doing. They need to start going down low. So I don't know why they didn't do that all game. But what a pass. Leon to Loftus. Loftus gets drilled. Foul. Almost. Almost hits one of our cameramen. Good, good layup by Loftus right there. Got another replay of one of her many points. Loftus first free throw. It's good. Looks like the Bulldogs finally bring in their bench. Gives her 30 on the night. Uola checking in. Leon checking out. Loftus with the free throw. It's good. Loftus finally checks out for, for the first time this, this game. That's Bruno checking into the game. Loftus checks out for the first time with 31 points. She only has, a, she almost has as many points as her jersey number. She has a pretty high jersey number too. Good defense from the Bulldogs. Trying to look. It's almost stolen. Almost a travel there. Almost. Claudio, Dawson, Brooks. Brooks to Claudio. Nice move. Brooks, three. Nope. Almost triggers roll, no good. And looks like she might have gotten hit in the head. Nice move. She's trapped in the corner. Gets it out to Brooks. Brooks driving in. No good. Rebound by Howard and the foul. Oh, good shot right there. Good put back. 12 point game. Howard on the line, shooting one. Meteors seem to be spreading their points around. Howard with six points, one of their highest scorers. Free throw is good. Make that seven points for Howard. Joan Baptiste checking it in. 11 point deficit for the Meteors. Uola has it, looking. It's lost by Uoa. Lost possession, seven seconds left. Meteors up 
or Meteor's down 11, excuse me. Seven seconds left, trying to get something going. Dawson driving in, gets no foul, but the bucket goes. And that would be the end of the quarter. Nine point lead for the Bulldogs. The Meteors did a great job of cutting into that lead towards the end of the half. Your thoughts? Well, that was a good quarter. Um, the USL came out hot during, during the end, cut down the lead. They're gonna need to come out strong in the fourth quarter. So it should be a good end of the game. Yeah, definitely. I think the Bulldogs are gonna try and sub in their starters back in. So I definitely think they did a good job. Mm -hmm. But they, uh, they gotta get the starters back in and just get the momentum going. Loftus with 31 on the bench. Just gotta get that back in the game. Looks like she's gonna check back into the game. Yeah, Bulldogs need to come out in the fourth quarter with the same pace they did to start the half. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, I mean, it's just a, such a jump from that second quarter when the Bulldogs were up 19. They just adjusted really well. <laughs> As we're about to start the fourth quarter here. There we go. Bulldog with a nine point lead. Bulldog starts checking back into the game. It'll be Bulldog's ball to start the fourth. You know, Baptiste taking the inbound. Passing it into Hines. Joe Baptiste passing it into Hines. Go dribbling it up. It's to Leon. Leon still no points yet on her senior night, hoping to get one to fall at least. Hines has it. The Joe Baptiste pump fakes. Back to Hines. Sarah Joe Baptiste has it. And it's tipped off the defender, off of Dawson, and it'll be Bulldogs ball. Just needed to get a new play going. That did not look like a good play. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Leon checking it in. Looking for Hines. Hines has it. Joe Baptiste in the corner for three. Pull up three, no. Rebounded by the Meteors. Here comes Howard down the lane. Howard looks like she might have wanted to shoot that three, but did not. Trying to find for an open. Option has Brooks. Screen set for Brooks. The media coaches were looking for something. I don't know what. Brooks for three. No good. Rebound by Joe Baptiste. And the press. She gets a good job of getting out of it. Leon has it. Leon. Joe Baptiste. Has Hines behind her. And looking to her, and he do she does. As Hines passes it to Jaeger. Jaeger, no good. Bulldogs have gone ice cold. Get their own offensive rebound. Jaeger to Loftus. Loftus air balls a layup. That's rare for her. Goes out of bounds on the Bulldogs. It'll be Meteor's know. ball. 6.36 left. Any hope of a comeback? The Meteors would want to score on this possession, I would think. Looks like Coach still was looking for a foul there. No call. Nope. He wanted that foul call. Did not get it. And almost dropped, and she loses possession of it. Oh my gosh, they called that out of bounds on the Bulldogs. That didn't even touch her. It went off of Dawson last, and it wasn't even close. Checking it in to Brooks. Gonzalez to Brooks. To Dawson, to Howard. Howard to Gonzalez, to Brooks, to Dawson. Dawson driving in, mid-range. Howard gets fouled, 5.57 left in the game. Foul is on General Baptiste, number 33. That's her third, I believe. And that is, that's her third. Team is fourth, hoping not to get a few more or else they go into the bonus and they do not want the Meteors shooting free throws. Howard, probably the best player, looking to make both free throws, makes the first, nothing but net. Eight point game now. Second free throw coming up. 
Howard. No good. Rolls around the room and no good. Needed that free throw to fall. Joe Baptiste has it. She's looking down court. Almost gets it stolen by Howard. Hines has it now. Eight point game. Mm -hmm. Hines has it dribbling around. Trying to find someone. No one's getting open. Hines looking. Finally gets the pass to Joan Baptiste. Ooh, might have gotten fouled. No call. Leon to Hines. Hines dribbling it up. Coach calling New York. And she gets fouled. Fouled by Gonzalez. 5.27 left in the game. Looks like there's going to be a sub for Gila Sal as William checks into the game for Gonzalez. Here we go, Jaeger. Kalov just gets blocked by Howard. They call a foul and she does not like that call. I do not think that was a good call either. It looked like all ball. She's trying to plead her case to the ref. The ref is not having it. Loftus will be shooting two. The refs have had some questionable calls so yep. far this game. Definitely. It seems like they've missed a few. Loftus sinks the first free throw. Howard with the fourth foul. One more, and she's done for the game. We have a replay here of the layup or the block. That was a so called foul. It looked like there was all ball. Loftus sinks the second one. 10 point game. Howard has it, looking to Dawson. The Meteors need to pick up the pace here if they want a chance to, to win this game. Strapped, William has it, somehow got that pass off, nice play, Howard has it. She gets the pass, drives in, misses the easy floater, gets her own rebound, it is good. Eight point game with five minutes left Loftus, in the game. Loftus accidentally bumped into Howard and Howard gave her a dirty look. Loftus driving in, gets fouled again. Kusick with a foul there. Howard is not liking these calls. No, no, she is not. I guess when a call doesn't go your way, I don't think you're gonna like the call, even if it is the right one. That one. Loft is shooting two again. So clutch from the free throw line, so just dominant. As she makes another one, 34 points for her. What a game. So here we go, replay of the foul. Does a great job of drawing contact, and that one was not was a foul. She was not straight up. Someone screamed during the free throw, and it went in anyway. Makes second, that's 35 points for Loftus. Leo checks out, 35 points for Loftus, 38 points for the Meteors. 35 out of the 48 points have gone to Loftus. Think about that, that's so crazy. As they try to take it up court. As she's trapped, it's tipped. It is stolen. Who else but Loftus? Loftus going up. Right Howard did not want to risk getting that fifth foul, and she just stood there, and Loftus gets the easy points. 50 bomb by the Bulldogs, 37 for Loftus. It's almost stolen. Dawson has it. Dawson driving in. Gets blocked. Oh. oh. I do not agree with that call at all, and neither do the fans. It looked like that was a straight up block. It might have been a makeup call for the foul on Howard, but still a horrible call. These refs have been not good tonight. The line here, Dawson. Free throw violation on De La Salle, and now they only get one free throw. Costly mistake, you cannot be doing that. Here's a free throw from Dawson. It's good. The 11 point Bulldog lead now. Hines has it, looking around. Hines, still dribbling. Gets it up to Loftus, Loftus going up, gets blocked. Loftus fights for the ball and goes out of bounds on her. 11 point game, 4 12 left. Bucket would be huge here for the Meteors. And they just need to stop the ball for the rest of the game, which with Loftus out there, I don't think is possible. But we'll see. It's tipped by Malloy, but it will go out of bounds and to the Meteors. Loftus closing in on 40 points tonight. 37. Can't she get to the 40? Howard has it. She's getting 
tightly contested by Joan Baptiste. Passing it around, the shot is up and no good. Rebound, and she is blocked and it's a foul again. Another one on Jaeger that is questionable. That's her fourth, one more, and she, oh that was on Baptiste, excuse me. And that was Baptiste's fourth. Two free throws, no good on the first. 11 point game. 3.53 left. Comes Doss with the second free throw. Gotta make your free throws if you wanna have any kind of comeback. And she gets the shooter's roll on the second one. 10 point game. Just, uh, just under four minutes left here. Joe Baptiste has it. One more foul by Joe Baptiste, she's gone. Malloy has it. One more foul by the Bulldogs and the media will be shooting free throws for the rest of the game. Joan Baptiste has it. Looking down court. Coach is looking for a second foul. Brooks gets charged with a foul. That's her second foul. 16 fouls, so if any more fouls occur, it'll be shooting free throws for both teams. Timeout Bulldogs, their first of the half. They just need to regroup a little bit. Four, four timeouts left for the Bulldogs. So with three with three thirty four left in the game, what do you think is gonna happen here and what do you think the meteors have to do to get the comeback? Uh, meteors definitely need to take better shots and need to pick up the pace. Uh, Bulldogs are gonna be Bulldogs will be slowing down a little bit on offense, letting time off the clock. I definitely think they also have to make their free throws too. That's been a mm -hmm. huge struggle for them. They've Meteors missed a bunch of free throws. Could be a different game if they've made most of them. Mm -hmm. Also, Brenna Loftus, you've got to find a way to stop her. She hasn't been stopped all game, and any chance of a comeback, you need to mm -hmm. lock her up, make sure she doesn't do anything. Here we go. Hines has it. Joe Baptiste for three. No good. That could have been the dagger. That's a foul on wow. the Bulldogs. That was a that was foul on Hines. That was her first, so nothing to worry too much. However, that will put the Meteors into the bonus, meaning they will shoot a one and one. Got to knock both of these down right here. Yeah, any form of comeback, you got to knock these down. And she misses the first. You have to hit your free throws. And that is to Malloy. Malloy giving it down to Loftus. Loftus, no good. Rebound is blocked. No. Joan Baptiste, mid range, no. Out of bounds. Went through her hands, butterfingers, and the Bulldogs will get the ball. Gonzalez coming in. William checking out. 3 12 left in the game. Joan Baptiste open for three. They cannot get the pass to her. It's tipped and stolen by the Meteors. Meteors pass down court. What a pass to Brooks. And it is stripped and stolen and a foul on Hines. Are you kidding me? I definitely think that was another questionable call. That's her second. Another one and one for the Meteors. I think the refs are calling any... I think the refs are calling any little ticky tack thing a foul. And here we go, the free throws. Got to make these. Yeah, for sure. She makes the first, sinks it. Needed that more than anything. Nine point game here. One more shot. See if she nails it here. It's four points for, Bro no, for Brooks. And it is good. That's five. Definitely a huge play for her. Getting it to with an eight, almost stolen. Joe Baptiste has it. To Loftus, Loftus driving in, no good. Looking for a foul, no foul called. Coaches are not uh, happy about this at all. As they should. There's been a lot of missed calls. I feel, feel like De La Salle's getting these calls and RB is not. That's what happens when you have a big lead like that. Jaeger gets the bucket, finally breaks out of that scoring slump for the Bulldogs, 10 point lead, that could be the dagger. 
That's good. Might have been a foul, no call. Brooks gets it back to within eight. Baptiste looking, just trying to hold. You want to slow it down now. Take as much time off the clock as you can. Hines has it. Don't force anything. Hines has it. Looking to Joan Baptiste. Hines. Looking around. Hines with a nice move. Spin. To Leon. To Hines. Looks like might have been a trap. Almost a backboard. Joan Baptiste has it. To Loftus. Loftus. And, and one. one. Is the dagger right there? Ten point lead, 39 points for Loftus. Looking to get to the 40 bomb, that would be huge. Uh, 209 on the clock. Definitely standing out on the scoreboard. You see one, eight, six, zero, 39. For number four, that's for 40 right here. 40 out of their 55 points. Wow. 11 point game now. Might be out of reach. Might be, yes. You might need to start forcing shots now. Mm -hmm. Loftus has eight out of their 11 points. Like eight out of every 11 points have gone to Loftus. That's an insane stat. And she steals it. Looking for more, I guess. Loftus driving in. Another layup. Definitely the player of the game tonight. Been the player of the game every night, I feel like. 57 44, 32 points. One, no. 120 left on the clock. Brooks, might have been a foul, no call. Gets her own rebound, puts it up. No good. Might want, there's a foul on the Meteors. One and one, here we go. We got a replay coming up of Loftus' steal and her layup. Just zooms past the defender and bang. Makes it look so easy. He really does make it look easy. I feel like I could not do that though. Number 24, Jaeger on the line here. Eight points on the game. Jaeger with the one and one. And no good, clanked. And it's tipped around. Ball's moving around everywhere. And it's blocked. Could have been a foul there. Could have been, not called. I'm sure everyone just wants to go home. Un know under, this history. under a minute here. Outward, no good. Tipped around on another offensive rail. No, Loftus secures it. And she's just trying to dribble around. And she zooms past everyone again. And she's just trying to hold. 45 seconds left and they're just holding it. And the crowd giving a nice ovation for the Bulldogs on a well played game. And that's a foul on Dawson. Hines going to the line for a one and one. That's her first team's ninth and here comes the bench. Whole bench coming in tonight. The crowd giving an ovation for the starters with an amazing game played, especially Brenda Loftus with a solid 42 points. Great game all around for her. She finished with 42 points. Meteors right now have 44 points. Anytime you're close to the opponent's score and your points alone, you're having a great night. And Hines misses the first free throw. And it's tipped around. It'll be Meteors ball. As Hines checks out, Uoa checks in. Nice ovation for Hines. Her senior night. What a game. And the crowd knows it. And they're giving her a huge hand. Well deserved. What a game by everyone out there. Everyone contributed one way or another. Might not have been scoring, but defense, rebounding. Yeah, great game by the team in general. 38 seconds left. This one's as good as history. 13-point game, and that's a foul. Really don't want to be calling fouls this late in the game, but, I mean, if it's obvious, it's obvious. 34 seconds left. Her first team night. Here we go, free throws here from Dawson. Dawson's first free throw, no good. Off the rim. Ball going around, they're fighting for a jump ball. It dragged her a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she's smiling about it. It'll stay here with the Meteors. You were just laughing about it. 30 seconds here. Try stealing it, she steals it. Good play. She's going up and she gets Ooh. blocked. 
she, she <laughs> Dawson felt like that steal never should have happened. And she says, get that out of here. Thank cool. goodness this isn't a rivalry like Kansas Kansas State because it might have turned into a brawl if that happened. Bulldog ball, 26 seconds left. Just a misread on the pass, it's stolen. Will the Bulldogs block it back? Nope. <laughs> It'll be good from Brooks. 11 point game. 57, 46, 18 seconds left. We're just trying to get it done and that's a foul wow. on Dawson. Trying to steal the ball, trying to have some kind of miracle but it looks like it's not gonna happen tonight. Number two going to the... Here's a steal and the layup. Nice little move there. Yeah, avoiding the contact. Free throws now from Uoa. Misses the first. Subs here for the Meteors. Dawson checking out. For number 32. And here we go. A second, no good as well. And 10 seconds left, Howard bringing it up. Looking, Brooks, looking around. Gonzalez, four seconds, three seconds. Gonzalez to beat the buzzer, no good, and that will be the game. Third final score, Bulldogs 57. De La Salle 46. What a game by the Bulldogs. Vernon Lofton gets the solid 42. What do you think of this game? It was a great game. Um, most teams play, played hard. Um, Bulldogs were just, were just knocking down the shots early, and that's what made the difference. The uh, Meteors were missing a lot of free throws. That also didn't help.